World War II planes landed in Bozeman today as part of the Wings of Freedom Tour. The nonprofit Collings Foundation aims to fly military aircraft around the country to preserve interest and pay respect in military aviation. MTN's Mallory Peebles shares the experience through the eyes of a veteran and children. The Wings of Freedom Tour is a step back in time. I had flown in one of those. Many veterans visiting fondly remember their service. Best thing you could ever do. I loved it. Awe-inspiring, even for kids who have never seen it before. It was just amazing. Yeah, it was like the was a machine. It was awesome. Included in the lineup this year are the B-17, called the Flying Fortress, commonly seen in movies. Then there's the B-24, which was one of the most popular planes during World War II. Thanks to Rosie the Riveter and all those helping, during its peak production, a B-24 was assembled every hour. Even though so many were created, this is the only one left flying in the world. Not only can people come and see it, but they can read the names of crew member who used to fly in World War II. To look at what they flew in in World War II and, uh, you know, a little piece of aluminum between them and a bullet. Humbling history that the Collins Foundation is sharing from coast to coast. You get to hear the engines, get some oil on your hands, you can smell the exhaust, you can go for a flight, you can watch them fly. It really, it's so much more. The organization hopes to instill aviation and military interest across generations. And I still love flying. That's cool. I don't want to go anywhere in a bus or nothing. I want to get in an airplane. That was my livelihood for a while. A livelihood for some, living history for others. Reporting from Bozeman, Mallory Peebles, MTN News. The event goes from 9.30 to 5 tomorrow and Sunday. Flights are offered at a cost and they include aerobatics and even some flight training. A short